meaningful, uh, we wouldn't accept such nonsense today, right? Yes, Harris. Um, yeah, oh, thank you, thank you, minus two, thanks, yes, thank you, yeah. Yeah, so I mean, okay, so I mean, Euler was trying to, to, gra to, to grapple with whether this could even be something meaningful, right? Could it, could it, I mean, even if it looks like nonsense, maybe if you just play with things the right way, you get, I, things would work. I mean, who knows, right? So, um, okay, so we have to actually make, make sense of this in some way, and uh, let me show you how we do that. So, here's how we'll define a series. A series is uh, basically a special kind of, uh, of sequence. So suppose I'm given a bunch of, a sequence of, uh, of terms, a sub n. Then what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to define, OK, so I, maybe I first have to define a, what I mean by a, a summation symbol. I'm sure most of you have seen a summation symbol. But if I say I'm adding up a bunch of terms, a sub n, going from p to q, this symbol just says go from the pth term to the qth term. Okay. That's a summation symbol. Well, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to let s sub n be the sum of uh, n uh, k going k going from 1 to n of a sub k. Notice now the index is k. And this says add up what? The first n terms. Okay, This is called the nth partial sum. Okay, So in this example here, the first partial sum, S, uh, if this is the first term, the first partial sum is, uh, this is S1, this is S2, this is S3, this is S4, yes? Those are the sums. OK. OK. Now, would you agree that these partial sums form a sequence? It is a sequence. So the series of the ANs, which we are adding up, uh, form a sequence, associated sequence of partial sums. And this sequence uh, is, um, well, it's a sequence. It may or may not converge, right? You could ask whether it converges. May or may not converge. So, um, uh, so let me just make some notation here. So this sequence is sometimes written so you write basically um, as a sum, you, the, the summation symbol n equals 1 and we put an infinity up here to just remind ourselves we're trying to do uh, something that looks like an infinite sum but we're thinking of this notation as representing the sequence. Okay. And this is called an infinite series. Hold that, hold that comment. Uh, so now, this may or may not converge. May, uh, may not converge. But if it does. Let's say uh, to s, some number s, then we'll write the following. Sum from n goes from 1 to infinity of a sub n equals s. This is just saying the same thing as sequence of partial sums converges to s. So what I want you to notice, this is the important point, is I'm making a definition of what this symbol means. If I say 
a n n goes from one to infinity. Uh, whatever this means, what I what I what I want to what I mean is this is the limit of n goes to infinity of the um, the uh, the s n's, right? Or if I like, the limit as n goes to infinity of the partial sums. K goes from one to n, and I'm summing the a sub k's. This is really what that notation means. Okay. Jenny. Uh, good. A series is a sequence. And it's the sequence of partial sums. But we, we notate the series by writing, we'll, we'll write this, and whenever you see this symbol, you should think, you should think uh, this is a, uh, a, a, a sequence of partial sums. Uh, a sequence is um, a sequence is not a series. So I, I think I see what you're getting at. So sure, if you give me some sequence, I suppose you could create a. Uh, a set of a sub n's for which that sequence is the partial sums of that of that sequence. You certainly could do that, but when we say series, we're 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 thinking that there are some uh, a sub n's from which we are creating the partial sums. Okay. Yeah. So so you can you I informally you can think of series as sums of a bunch of terms, and formally we're saying. No, what we mean is the, the partial sums here, actually, as a sequence. Okay, Okay, great. So there are some natural questions. I've just defined a series as a sequence. So you probably want to know when does a sequence converge? Okay. Okay. So when does... Uh, a series, so we say a series converges if the associated sequence does converge. Okay. Okay, well, there's an easy answer to that. A series, we'll say a series converges if its sequence, the associated sequence of partial sums does. When the sequence of partial sums do. But that trades one problem for another problem. When does the sequence of partial sums converge? When is that? There's the question. OK. OK, so um, well, let me have you recall an example we saw last time. We actually studied a series last time. I didn't call it that. But you might ask yourself, if a sub n is 1 over n, does, what about this series? 1 plus 1 half plus 1 third plus 1 quarter plus dot, dot, dot. This is a series. Does this series converge? And when I say that, what do I mean? I mean, does the sequence of partial sums converge? Okay. Now, this series has a special name. This, it's called the harmonic series. Okay. And th does this converge? How did we answer that question last time? Now, I didn't write it this way either last time. Last time, I actually just wrote out the partial sums. I said Sn equals sum of 1 through here the partial sums are the sum of 1 through the nth term. Yeah, I think that's the way I wrote it last time. How did we decide if it converged? We used the, oh, good. We used a Cauchy criterion. We just checked if it was Cauchy, right? So uh, that's actually exactly what we're going to do to determine in general what happens. We'll just check if the sequence is Cauchy. So uh, we checked if it's Cauchy. Does it does this converge? Is Sn Cauchy? Uh, 